greatest likelihood for a quake, scientists and urban planners can focus on protecting buildings and people. But geologists can't create an earthquake in the lab. The only way for them to test their theories is to wait for one to happen and hope they're still around afterwards to analyze the data. Panning back, I've got to get this updraft just once in my life. Observing tornadoes presents its own challenges and thrills. Every spring and summer, tornado season in the Midwest, an army of amateur storm chasers is out in the field, and video cameras are now standard equipment. That has got to be a violent tornado. Going head to head with a twister is an obsession for both amateur storm chasers and professional scientists. It may look like fun, but it pays off with valuable information about the birth and behavior of these killer storms. Oh! Oh, there goes the windshield. <laughs> Just as important as direct observation are remote sensing techniques like Doppler radar. Over the past two decades, Doppler radar has revolutionized the study of tornadoes. First used by the military to detect unfriendly missiles, Doppler is so sensitive it can track the movement of insects 40 miles away. In the field, portable Doppler radar units can be used to record data at dangerously close range. Oh, look at that. I'm on the left side of that tight circulation. And I'm gonna go over. With the information they've compiled, scientists are creating computer models of severe storms to learn even more about their structure and behavior. As with earthquakes, the key to avoiding catastrophe is alerting the public. At the National Weather Service, scientists have introduced NEXRAD, the next generation of advanced Doppler radar. NEXRAD's enhanced imagery makes it easier to spot tornadoes as they form, and that can save critical minutes in alerting those in the twister's path. Hurricane prediction is also becoming more precise as scientists gain a new perspective on these giant storms with the help of powerful new tools like the space shuttle and weather satellites. And as the accuracy of forecasts improves, hurricane fatalities are declining. That, uh, the beginning of the uh, hurricane conditions will start there anytime uh, after dark uh, this evening. Today, when hurricanes form over the Atlantic, the National Hurricane Center in Miami serves as a central clearinghouse, analyzing data, issuing forecasts, and most important, broadcasting warnings to the public. There's a fine line between alerting the community and creating panic. Evacuations are expensive, and false alarms can damage public confidence. But in the face of an approaching hurricane, it's a good idea just to get out of the way. Like floods, earthquakes, and tornadoes, hurricanes remind us that there are powerful forces beyond our control. We have not conquered nature, and we never will. But perhaps we can learn to survive nature's fury. <laughs>